how to make an octopus. Okay, now this is a very fun one because it's big and, um, you know, kids love it. Um, now, for this one, you need a, a big round balloon. It doesn't really matter the size of the balloon. It just, you know, if you get a bigger one, then you have a bigger octopus. It's pretty simple. You blow it up, not all the way. Tie it off. And now we, we're going to make the eyes. Um, generally, when I, in my instruction videos, I only use 260s. This is the first time I believe I've used anything other than a 260. But you, you need it if you're going to make a decent octopus. And it is important to, meet, to make a decent octopus. Okay, now for the eyes, um, if you do have small, round, white balloons, then you can use those, and that'll actually be a little better. Um, you just blow them up and twist it in half. But again, like I said, I like to use 260s for just about everything I do. So I'm going to blow it up, make it uh, very loose, blow it up about that much. Tie it off, and we're going to twist that in the middle. And we can make those pretty roundy. We can make these pretty roundy. So I'm going to tie it again. And I haven't tied it really tight because I'm going to twist that in the middle. And, of course, we'll get rid of the extra here. Okay. So then we're going to take this and twist it like that. And those are two eyeballs. And we'll put them here in the knot. Okay. Are you starting to see it? Now we're going to twist the legs. And we're going to need... Well, an octopus has eight legs, so we'll need four balloons because we're going to use them half and half. So here, I'll blow up this one right here, blow it up almost all the way, squeeze it and stretch it because you want it really flexible. Tie it off, find the middle, give it a twist in the middle, and you're going to twist that just above the eyeballs. And you're going to do that three more times. Now, um, I've been thinking ahead. So what I've done is I've blown up the three other balloons before I started this video. Here's one of them. <laughs> Squeezed and stretched and blown up. Let's find the middle. Twist it. Add that to the mix. Twist it up and in there. And another one. Find the middle. Add it to the mix. Pretty simple. I don't even have to look at it while I'm doing it. And the last one. Add it to the mix. Okay. So there we have all of the uh, legs coming out. They're coming out every which way, which is okay because octopus, their legs do go every which way. And to make it funner, you can add curls, curl it like that, and then just squeeze the air out and let it back in. Twist it around. Squeeze the air. <laughs> squeeze the air out and let it back in. And, you know, just... Shape it however you would like to. A lot of different, uh, you know, some long, some short. The wilder, the better. Kids are kids love the big old octopus. And then for the eyes, you could either just leave it like that, or you could draw black dots on the eyes. So let's do that and show you what I would do. You can make it a kind of a goofier one by putting the pupils closer together. Make them sort of a cross-eyed uh, octopus. Or if you put them further apart. Or you can make them a mean octopus by putting the eyebrows down like that. 
Use your imagination. And there, my friends, is a wonderful, crazy, wild octopus. We'll be back with more. <laughs>